Hey, hello everybody. Hi guys. My name is Andre Sakos. I'm the executive chef of My Chef at Home Spain, personal chef and catering company. And right the time when I would like to appreciate all of you guys, your support, your bookings, when you're eating my food with an easy homemade fine dining recipe, which you can make anytime at your home. Let's see what we're gonna make. No. So we have a nice dark breast, a dark margaret, here fresh, nice. We got a sweet potato, a grenadine, a bottle of good quality red wine, fresh kale leaves, salt, pepper and chicken stock. Okay, let's start the preparation. We take the kale leaves and reserve it on the side. We use it later, it's okay, it's fine. We get the bottle of wine and we are going to open it with the help of a wine opener, of course. And now when we get the wine, we pour it into the pot until half or the half of the bottle is fine. You see the color? It's a good wine. And we take the chicken stock and we pour the half into it. It gives a little bit of salt and more flavor to our sauce. We put it on medium high heat and leave it to reduce slowly. Then we take our main ingredient with the knife and try to clean as much as you can, as much as possible, the top of the duck breast with and you leave always the skin on because we need the skin this has a lot of flavor we take the knife and make gently cuts on the top on the skin like one centimeter each and be careful don't cut it very deep we don't need these cuts deep we just want to cut a little bit the, the skin so all the excess of the fat comes out this has all of the flavor don't open it until the meat so when we got it, look at this, how we cut it, nice, oof, beautiful dark breast. See the downside, it also has a little bit fat, a little bit of things you cannot eat, cut it off, all the way around, cut off, and then it's ready. You see the color, you see the top, you see the skin, you see the color of the meat. Remove if you have to remove something else. And take some salt on the top side, on the down side. Some pepper, both sides. And give it a little massage. You see, like this, this we reserve for later, I'm going to clean this enormous sweet potato, I got the biggest one I think, I don't know, we take a peeler and take the skin off. By the way, once I have seen someone was saving the skin of the potato to make chips, huh. this is also an idea how to save food. So we got this wall clean sweet potato and we are going to cut it. You will need a big knife. So hard, but we're so trying. And finally, finally we, we win. Oh yeah, we have it. The half, cut into the half, cut big cubes of it. And put them into a pot. Place them inside, a little bit more I decide to put, and the rest we save. So here we have the sweet potato, we put salt, and we put water, and we are going to cook it. Give it a heat, a big heat, and after we're gonna cover, 
we're gonna give it a little bit heat of this sauce as well and the sweet potato we need the boil both of them so now they are boiling we drop the temperature of the sweet potato put a lid on and leave the sauce reducing in, in medium high heat take a bowl take your cutting board take the pomegranate and cut it into half take a spoon and start to heat the pomegranate you will see all the seeds comes out sometimes you need to give a bigger heat sometimes smaller but then all the seeds comes out and after the the pomegranate can stay clean absolutely clean you believe this look how it looks nice red huh good so we got the sweet potato extra virgin olive oil in a frying pan medium high heat a plate with a napkin a paper and the fresh kale leaves be careful with the oil this piece we're gonna show show us when the oil is ready to, to fry when it's properly heated you see it start to fry then you add more this part you can use a lid to cover the oil which is all the all the way around but no worries we will clean it up after okay guys the sauce is almost ready you see it's very used more than half it was like 60 percent 70 percent they used we got some cornstarch with water mix it and start to add into the sauce this will help us to get our sauce thickener like a real sauce add a little bit more mix it well and then the last is the pomegranate put it in close the fire stop cooking we need this pomegranate as fresh as possible then we got finished turn off the heat and our sweet potatoes are also finished we take them off from the water and after the dark rest you see the sun oh this is what i like this is what i like to hear the sound of cooking this is the sound of my heart it's coming out all the fat which we don't need later you can reserve this fat turn around and see the color see the color the golden brown color crispy skin and look at the excess of the fat comes out we got the meat perfectly with this after a while like five five minutes five minutes each side you're cooking the breast seal a little bit the edge as well give it a little heat more on the top side don't push it over i just move the meat after I leave the margaret to rest, I am going to make the sweet potato puree with the help of this hand mixer. Mix it very well. Once you have it mixed, take it out. And now coming a trick, a cheat, a magic. I'm going to take this duck fat to add it on and it gives creaminess and tons of flavor. Mix it well again and ready okay so we have all these easy things done we have the puree we have the kale we have the duck and we have the sauce and now we are going to make the plating take your sweet potato puree with a spoon one spoon and two spoon and with the bottom side bit curving start to pressure it giving it a shape a half curve shape oh yeah take some crispy kale put it in one side 
put a little bit more of crispy kale and cut the duck breast. So this plate is called Tilly Slide Duck Breast Steak. A boob, oh, look at this move. A boob of sweet potato puree, crispy kale, grenadine concasse, and red wine reduction or reduction. So cut your meat. <laughs> this meat looks magic. It looks unbelievable, delicious. Oh. Thinly sliced and start to put on the plate a little bit of giving it a shape and we are almost finished now just one more slice on it okay one more one more slice and clean a little bit the plate and lastly Last but not least, the sauce with the grenadine. You see how it's glazing? Wonderful, 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 delicious red wine and grenadine sauce. And the hint of Maldon salt to give a little bit more crispness and is ready. Ladies and gentlemen, Bon appetit! So this is, thank you for watching and if you like it, subscribe, you can visit the website www.myshapathomespain.com You can book, depends on availability and thank you!